the Isaac Newton's mass. What are the messages given by Isaac Newton? So we call it the Newton's law. So how many laws are there? There are three different laws are there in Isaac Newton, Newton's laws of motion. Right. So Newton's first law says that until an unbalanced force is applied on it, until an unbalanced force is applied on it, bodies at rest remain stationary. Bodies in motion continue to move in uniform velocity. Right, 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 right. So let's come to the point. If you consider about this bulb, is this bulb moving? It is not moving. This bulb is not moving. Right? This bulb is at rest. If I ask you why it is at rest, the answer should be the resultant force acting on this bulb is zero. What is the answer? The answer should be the resultant force acting on this bulb is zero. So what are the forces acting here? So you know it is a bulb, it has a weight. What it has? It has a weight. So what happens is, the bulb is pulled downward. What's happening? The bulb is pulled downward. Who is pulling the bulb downward? What is the force acting downward? We call it the weight. The weight is pulling downward. Okay. Also, the tension. Tension is a type of force. Okay. Resultant by ropes or something etc. So here, this is the rope or is, uh, it is a Y actually. What's happening? Again, another force is pulling it upward. One force is pulling it downward and the second force pulling it upward. So here, as the results make a zero, as here the result make the zero, the force acting downward is equal to the force acting upward, the resultant force is zero. That is why Newton said in the first law, until an unbalanced, underline the term, it is very important, until an unbalanced force is applied on it, bodies at rest will remain rest. Right, so the vice versa, the other meaning of it, if there is object which is at rest, the resultant force is zero. If there is an object which is at rest, the resultant force will be how much? Zero. Right, got the idea? Right. And the second important thing, there is another phenomenon can happen. If the, if the resultant force is zero, there is another phenomenon can happen. The first phenomenon is what? It can be in rest. The second one, the second important phenomenon, the object might move in uniform velocity. What is the meaning? An object might move in uniform velocity. For example, if I say you, an object is moving with a velocity of 4 meters second minus 1. What is the resultant force? What is the resultant force? The resultant force is zero. Because the object is moving at uniform velocity. So the first law is clearly states that if there is no force acting on an object, there are two things are possible. The first important thing is the object will be at rest or it will move in the uniform velocity. These are the two important phenomena.